All right, guys, so I got a little bit of a quick video today. I figured I'd make this because uh, I had some issues trying to figure this out on the truck. Um, as you guys know, or if you didn't know, uh, the Hawk is on a 2011 Crown Victoria frame, floor, firewall, um, and drivetrain. And one of the issues I was running into uh, when I started tuning it is trying to figure out how to get rid of the low rev limiter that Ford likes to put on these things in neutral and park. Uh, when you rev this thing up uh, in neutral or park, it goes to like four grand and then it just holds there. Um, you don't get anything more than that. And I just wanted to disable it. Um, I don't know, I just don't like it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in HP tuners. Uh, I'm gonna start by saying, don't take anything I have to say for gospel. Um, I'm just getting into tuning. So you gotta do this at your own risk. And uh, there may be different ways of doing it or better ways of doing it, but this is the way that I figured out. So let's uh, dive on into it. All right, so first let me show you what I'm talking about. Get the truck started up here. Kind of see the tack back there. And it'll go to about four grand and it'll just hold it there. Okay. Uh, sorry for getting any wind noise. It got windy all of a sudden. So I got HP tuners loaded up. All right, so we're gonna go into it's under engine and click on that. We're gonna go into torque management right here, and we are going to click on torque max versus RPM. I'm just gonna get that so you're not getting a reflection. And I'll bring up a table, and as you'll see. It says 442.54 torque max at zero RPM. And then it like slowly tapers off once you hit 3,000 RPM. And once you hit 4,000, it goes to zero. And then anything after that is negative. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this entire box, this entire table um, equal 442.54. Uh, you could probably put, you know, 500, any high number in there, um, I'm assuming, but the way I figured it out is if we make all of these 442, it gets rid of it. So I'm just going to go up here, 442.54, and just hit equals. So now everything is 442.54. We're going to close that table. Okay, so now once that's done, you can also go to back to general, or no, I'm sorry, go to fuel. You're going to go to cutoff DFCO. And this is where your neutral, this is where your rev limiters are. So cutoff um, and then neutral cutoff. It's set at 5,000 factory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to write this to the truck. And then the, uh, that neutral low, neutral rev limiter will be gone. And it should now go to 5,000 RPM. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So we got that loaded into the truck. So let's fire it up and uh, see if it worked. Should, it's what I did the last time. All right, so I would say that that worked. Uh, so that's how you uh, get rid of that low, kind of goofy limiter in neutral and uh, in park on a uh, crown vic it may work on other uh, fords too um but guys that was just a quick little video on uh on fixing that issue let me know what you guys think i'll probably have a couple more videos coming on similar items um as i figure stuff out with with hp tuners and in this thing guys drop any questions down below and uh be sure to stay tuned subscribe if you haven't guys get out in your garage work on your stuff have a good day